OK, let's broaden it one more step. Tom Robinson, <laughs> you brought Glad to be Gare. What year was that? 20, uh, that was 19, 77. 77. Come on, I mean, this is androgynous rock. It was quite something, wasn't it? Um, I couldn't possibly have done that if it hadn't been for David Bowie before, because Bowie and his music made such an impact on me in my early 20s in, in uh, 72 that I just swore to myself, if I ever, ever had a chance to do the same for other people, what he'd done for me in terms of changing my life, seeing that I had choices, that I, it was possible to have a happy life uh, if you were attracted to the same sex, um, that message but was he... not there before. Because in the 60s, men went to prison if they were gay. So there wasn't role model one. Bowie was the first person who came along but, I mean, and said, it's cool. He said, it was a bit more ahead of his time in some way than you're cred crediting, because obviously it was, it was gender-bending as well as sexuality, pushing that's the boundaries correct. on and sexuality. That's, it was the full panoply, LGBT yeah. and beyond. It was totally mixing it up. So a huge, wide variety of people who felt they didn't fit in with the straight-jacketed society that even in the supposedly swinging 60s we still had, suddenly realised in his person that, that, that here was the possibility of a, a wider world. But it wouldn't have meant a thing if the music hadn't been astonishing. Right. It feels like his period was the period when music was a great shaping force. Yes, the music was the great bush telegraph through which culture was transmitted because we didn't have an internet. It wasn't pop football. Songs, pop songs it, actually it, gave us that, that kind of information. Yeah. And even into the hip-hop era, that's been true. Mm. But the internet has changed all was that. Was it inevitable that, in a way, he would lead this incredibly alternative life up until the 1990s? And then he sort of settled down, really, didn't he? Lived in New York, had I think a it, isn't, it isn't just that he lived in alternative life. I think he blazed a trail for other people and he went through the mill and he suffered in his career in America because of some of his excesses on this side of the pond. Uh, never achieved the stature that he really secretly always wanted. Um, and I think he earned the right to have a quiet retirement where he had his privacy and he could do whatever he wanted and fair play to him for it. Have to leave it there. Thank you all very much indeed.